Hi guys, I'm Ashley. And I'm Rachel. And together we are Girls Interrupted. Now, if you're like me, confidence and self-esteem is one of the biggest things that us women deal with, especially me living in LA, being around beautiful celebrities, beautiful people. It deals with your confidence a lot. And I know that there's been times where I woke up excited for the day, ready to get dressed, have my hair curled, my lipstick on, thinking I look amazing, and then I'll go outside and I'll see a model chick who looks 10 times skinnier than me, long hair, straight teeth, and I immediately just fall into pieces and think that I'm worth nothing. Yeah. And it's like ridiculous, like why do we do this to ourselves? You know, just because she's pretty doesn't mean that you're not pretty Absolutely. either. Beauty looks different in different ways. Yeah. So I know you can totally relate going oh, on yeah. auditions. I mean, it's so crazy being in LA and being an actress, going on auditions, I'll feel so good about myself, you know, if I've called in to be the, you know, five foot seven brunette girl. Right. And I show up and then all of a sudden there are, you know, three hundred girls who look <laughs> a lot like me, but like the the upgraded version, you know, <laughs> like curvier in the right places, right. a little taller, you know nicer hair and it's funny actually because we all do this right. and we're always comparing ourselves to other people and losing track of our own self-worth right and um so that being said today we kind of wanted to just be vulnerable and raw with you and share what we are most insecure about so what's that one thing about you that just really you, you sometimes wish you could change that you always feel insecure about you know it's weird growing up um God's blessed me to have nice boobs, you know, and, I, and, and I'm just being completely transparent and completely honest, and I've always kind of had a smaller, lower frame, but, you know, as now that I'm in my late 20s, I've grown up, my woman body has changed, and I've gotten a little bigger in a little different areas, and I'm, prefer and I'm talking about my butt, you know, <laughs> and it's crazy because I'm so self-conscious about my butt because I feel like, especially in this world and especially dealing with men and me being single, I don't want men to only look at my body. You know, I want them to see me for my my beautiful face or my personality when they speak to me, but it's crazy how it draws so much negative attention towards my butt and it makes me self-conscious and I don't like that, you know, yeah. but I, I know that God gave me that for a reason, so I'm just trying to learn to embrace it. Yeah, so actually, when you're trying to learn to embrace it, obviously it's not just a quick fix and you're not able to change all. who you are, at all. but how are you able to feel a little bit more confident and find ways to love yourself? You know, for me, it's like, to practice and it yeah. took time. So what I do is I started a journal and what I do is I, I write down 10 things I like about myself or love about myself. You know, whether that's my smile or my hair or my eyebrows or my teeth, like little things. You have great eyebrows. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Um, or whatever, they, whatever it may be, I write it down every morning and I just meditate on that, you know, and say, I am beautiful. I am talented. I am creative. Because it's not always about your looks, Absolutely. you know, there's so much more to you than looks, there's your personality, there's your heart, that's yeah. really big. And I feel like we, and society, me too, put so much pressure on the outside and not trying to fix the inside. Yeah, so and it's the inside that really, that really, really matters. matters. It really matters, really matters. Yeah. I know you shared with me uh, things that you do that I tried, so. Yeah, so for me, my biggest insecurity was always, um, you know, every girl gets those hormonal breakouts. Oh, hello. And, um, you know, I, I, I always thought that I had my confidence under control until I started to get a pit bull here or there. And I was actually telling one of my friends a while back that I woke up, looked in the mirror, and my first thought was, oh my gosh, I'm so ugly. I can't even leave the house. You right. know, and I start taking on the makeup, and it right. just makes it worse. Right. It's just all these bumps. Right. And I felt worthless. And um, my friend told me, A, that was horrible that I was looking in the mirror and saying that I was ugly, because it wasn't true. Right. Um, but I was really projecting that. You know, my heart was getting so upset about this. And so she encouraged me to write affirmations on my mirror so that when I first looked in the mirror, I saw something beautiful and something encouraging rather than focusing on that one giant uh, insecurity. Insecurity. And so I started writing things, you know, like, you're beautiful, you are loved, you're valued, you're, you know, worthy. And I started also writing Psalm um, 139.14, which translates into, we are marvelously made. Yes. So I wrote, you know, Rachel is marvelously made. So the next morning when I looked in the mirror, I saw so much truth about myself rather than letting that one temporary issue define you know, who you are. Define me and make right. me, you know, just feel totally broken down and insecure. So I would encourage you all to definitely write that you're marvelously made on your mirror and anything else that you just need to know about yourself. Right. Maybe you need to know that you are loved, right. whatever it is, just to wake up to that because I find that it's really 
it's something in our hearts that needs to be fixed. It's not something on the outside. I think a lot of women think that, oh, if I just do this to myself, if I get my right. nose set or my boobs set or um, butt shots, which is crazy, yeah. <laughs> then I'll be more beautiful. And it's like, if you're not, like you said, if you're not dealing with the inner issues, then you're going to always find something that you want to fix oh, in the yeah. outer issue. And it's just not going, you're never going to be happy. Right. And, and I learned that the hard way. Yeah. And I found that having those affirmations on the mirror for me, it's not just when you have a pimple, because I thought there were days that nothing could be wrong with me physically, and I still didn't feel beautiful. Right. So I knew it was a heart issue and something inside of me that needed to be transformed. So, you know, we can start with not comparing yourself to other people right. and just focusing on who you really are, because that's beautiful. Right. So we want to encourage all of you ladies out there to start a grateful list about things that you love about yourself, and also write down um, affirmations about why you think you're beautiful or how you're beautiful. Um, Rachel named some, and I one that I say every day is, I am beautiful, I am talented, I am creative, I have what it takes, God has prepared me for this day, great things are in store for my future. And I realize when I repeat those things, they get instilled in your mind. So when you have a negative thought, you can easily replace it with a positive one, so. Yep. So thank you all so much for letting us interrupt your life yeah. once again, and stay tuned for more from Girls Interrupted. We'll see you next time.